Anuradha could skip over the rope 51 times and Sameer skipped over 32 times. How many more times did Anuradha skip than Sameer? Anuradha could skip over the rope 51 times and Sameer skipped 32 times. Now in order to find how many times did Anuradha skip more than Sameer, we will have to subtract 32 from 51. That is 5 times 1 unit minus 3 times 2 units. 2 cannot be subtracted from 1. So we'll untie 1 ten from 5 tens. Now 5 tens 1 unit would be 4 tens 11 units. 11 minus 2 is 9. 4 minus 3 is 1. So it is 1 ten 9 units or 19. 19 times did Anuradha skip more than Samir. Sudha sowed 16 beans. Nine of them took root and began to grow well. How many beans did not take root? Sudha sowed 16 beans, out of which nine took root and began to grow well. Now, in order to find out the beans which did not take root, we will have to subtract nine from 16. That is 110 6 units minus 9 units. 9 cannot be subtracted from 6, so we will have to untie 110 from 110, which means 110 6 units is 16 units. Now 16 minus 9 is 7. So 7 beans did not take root. In a certain school, there are 35 children in standard second and 28 children in standard third. How many children are there in the two classes altogether? Now, number of children in standard 2 are 35 and number of children in standard 3 are 28. Number of children altogether in both the classes would be 35 plus 28, that is 3 times 5 units plus 2 times 8 units. Now 5 plus 8 would be 13. So you will write 3 over here and 110 would be carried to the tens column. So it is 110 plus 3 tens plus 2 tens, that is 6 tens. So it is 6 tens, 3 units. Or 63. Altogether, there are 63 students. What problems? Father planted 75 teak saplings. Uncle planted 22. How many saplings did they plant? Altogether, well, father planted 75 teak saplings and uncle planted 22 teak saplings. In order to find the total number of plants planted altogether, we will add 75 teak saplings to 22 teak saplings. Let us arrange them. Now it is 75 plus 22. Or 7 tens 5 units plus 2 tens 2 units. If you see the units column, 5 plus 2 is 7. In the tens column, 7 plus 2 is 9. So altogether they planted 97 teak saplings.
Lakshman harvested 57 sacks of groundnut from his field. Sharda Bai harvested 25 sacks from her field. How many sacks of groundnut did they get in all? Now, Lakshman harvested 57 sacks of groundnut. Sharda Bai harvested 25 sacks. Total number of sacks of groundnut harvested would be Sacks of groundnut harvested by Lakshman plus sacks of groundnut harvested by Shatabai. So it is 57 plus 25. That means 5 tenths, 7 units plus 2 tenths, 5 units. Now, if you add it, 7 plus 5 makes it 12. So, that means it is 1 tenths 2 units. So, we'll take 1 tenths to the tenths column and it will be 1 ten plus 5 ten plus 2 ten that is 8 tenths. So, it is 82. Together they harvested 82 sacks of groundnuts. Salma made 25 garlands. If Reshma made 32 garlands, how many more garlands did Reshma make than Salma? Now Salma made 25 garlands. Reshma made 32 garlands. In order to find how many more garlands did Reshma make than Salma, we have to subtract the garlands made by Salma from the garlands made by Reshma. That would be 32 minus 25. Now that is 3 times 2 units minus 2 times 5 units. 5 cannot be subtracted from 2. So we will untie 1 ten from 3 tens. That would be 2 tens and 12 units now. Now 12 minus 5 is 7. 2 minus 2 is 0. So it is 7 garlands. Reshma made 7 garlands more than Salma. Sagar made 47 laddus. Amit made 19 laddus. Then how many more laddus did Sagar make than Amit? How many laddus did they make in all? Now you know that Sagar made 47 laddus. Amit made 19 laddus. In order to find how many more laddus did Sagar make than Amit, we have to subtract 19 laddus from 47 laddus. So that is 4 times 7 units minus 1 times 9 units. Now you cannot subtract 9 from 7, so you will untie 1 ten from 4 tens. Now 4 tens, 7 units will become 3 tens, 17 units. 17 minus 9 is 8. Now 3 minus 1 is 2, so it is 28. Laddus. Sagar made 28 laddus more than Amit. Now we have to find all together they made how many laddus. For that we will add the laddus made by Sagar to laddus made by Amit. So it is 47 plus 19. That means 4 times 7 units plus 1 ten 9 units. Now 7 plus 9 is 16. So we'll add one more 10 in the tens column. So it is 1 10 plus 4 tens plus 1 10. That is 6 tens. Which means the total number of laddus would be 66.
Mangal's mother bought a compass box for 45 rupees and some other things for 38 rupees. How many rupees did she spend altogether? Now Mangal's mother bought a compass box for 45 rupees. Some other things for 38 rupees. Money spent by her altogether would be money spent on compass box plus money spent on other things. That is 45 plus 38. So, it is 4 times 5 units plus 3 times 8 units. 5 plus 8 is 13. So, write 3 over here and 1 10 goes to the 10's column. Now, in the 10's column it is 1 10 plus 4 10's plus 3 10's. That is 8 10's. So, it is 8 tens, 3 units, that is 83. Altogether, Mangal's mother spent 83 rupees. There are 32 children in class. Of these, 17 are girls. How many boys are there in the class? Now, total number of students in class are 32. Girls are 17. Boys would be total students minus number of girls. So in this case it is 32 minus 17. That is 3 times 2 units minus 1 times 7 units. 7 cannot be subtracted from 2. So we will untie 1 ten from 3 tens. Now 3 times 2 units would be 2 tens 12 units. Now 12 minus 7 is 5. 2 minus 1 is 1. So number of boys in the class is 15.